What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you the guitar solos, the clean sounds, and the classical guitar. I'm going to show you how I set it all up, how I record it, which plugins I use, and how I automate everything. Don't forget to check out my new album, The Dichotomy Paradox. Let's get started. Just like we saw in the last video, this is channel 3 of the Mark V, and I use this setting for all my rhythm tone. For the guitar solos, all I do differently is add a little extra gain. And I've already set up the tracks exactly the same way I've already shown you, and now I'm going to lay down a guitar solo with these exact same settings, completely dry with no effects. Let's see what that sounds like. Once in a while, I'll do a little surgical EQ and dip out a very specific frequency if it's bothering me. And other than that, I've got another basic channel strip. And again, I have about 6 dB of gain reduction on average. And now I'm sending these tracks to three different auxes. You can see we have a main verb. I'm also sending it to an aux that has some special effects on it. And I'm sending it to another aux that's a stereo delay. Let's take a closer look at these. So this is the main verb I send everything to. And on this special effects one, I've got a stereo delay followed by a cathedral reverb followed by a flanger. And the way all of these effects work together is really interesting. And finally, I have one more delay set up. And if you notice, there was actually two delays. The first one is an eighth note stereo delay. And the second one is a half note stereo delay, and they're both ping ponging around and creating a very interesting space. Now let's take a listen, and when I pause the song, take a careful listen at the effect trails. I keep the automation for the guitar solos very simple. Sometimes the effects are too much, so I automate them down. And sometimes they need to be exaggerated, so I automate them up. But generally speaking, they pretty much stay at the same setting. 
One thing I do like to do is bring a cool riff out in the mix a little bit. Now, if a note sticks out too much, I'll automate that down. This is channel one on the Mark V, and these are the settings I used for all the clean sounds. And for the most part, I use the neck pickup on my guitar. Now, I mix each song a little bit differently, but on this one, you can see I've got kind of a weird pan set up. And again, I've got my basic channel strip. You can see there's a little bit of gain reduction. I also added some tape saturation, which seemed to give it some interesting character. And also, I didn't use reverb this time, but I did send one of the channels to an aux that has a stereo delay and a flanger on it. Let's take a listen. When I go to record classical guitar, I use two condenser mics. In this case, I'm using an AKG 414. And I place the first mic somewhere between the hole and where the neck meets the body of the guitar, about four or five inches away. The second mic I set up is over my right shoulder. It's roughly ear height and it's aimed at the bridge. I'm also screen sharing between the laptop and the main computer in the control room. I've got my track set up. Let's try a take. Here we go again, we've got our channel strip. You can see all I'm really cutting is some low mid and lows. There's also about 6 dB of gain reduction as usual. Now they're panned a little bit left and right. And there's also some reverb and stereo delay. Also keep in mind each song has a different combination of instruments, so I mix things differently. So I might not actually pan the classical guitar like I did on this track. And normally I wouldn't use stereo delay, but in this example, I thought it added something really cool. Let's take a listen.
Now, there was one song on my album that had a regular acoustic guitar. So I just want to quick cover that. As you can see, I have it panned hard left and hard right. There's no channel strip. It's just the raw guitar sound with a little bit of the high end rolled out and a little bit of reverb. There's also an acoustic lead sound, which is set up a little differently. Some of the low ends rolled out. It's got a little bit of compression, a little bit of stereo delay, and it's panned towards the center. Let's take a listen. So that's a quick look at how I do the guitar solos, the clean sounds, and the classical and acoustic guitar sounds. And that pretty much wraps up guitar. Next time we're going to talk about the synth. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe, check out my website thoughtsofmind.com, thanks for watching.